Good morning, good evening, good afternoon, select time zone of choice here. Um, I'm Wyndham, Minister of Foreign Affairs, Brit extraordinaire, consumer of tea and currently eating McCoy salt and vinegar crinkle cut chips. So Ridge Cup, my apologies. And I'm joined by a uh, delegate of the East Pacific, Shadow. Greetings and salutations. And a uh, delegate of the North Pacific and certified boomer, Holdem. Howdy. I love, I love him being called a boomer. This is funny. Um, how, how old, uh, are you older than Holdem, Shadow? Uh, I am oh, 22. I, I thought you were 15. I'm not gonna lie. Yeah, oh, I have God. a very young voice. Not even a young voice. It's a very high-pitched voice. I did do the pain! I didn't get the pain. I did not receive the pain. Uh, well, the ping did not I, 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 I pinged it, ping it as notifications, which is probably my mistake. I should have I ping everyone, frankly. We, everyone deserves to listen to our beautiful voices. Um, to be fair, <laughs> my is problem the is... greatest show that has ever is with, with, my vo with my beard, I look about 40. I was in America in December, and I got mistaken for my younger brother's dad. He's three years younger than me. Oh no! Yeah, uh, I mean, I'm 22 as well, so I don't know how much old. I mean, I don't know when he drew turn 22 shadow, so it's possible you're uh, younger than me. Possible you're older. Before than the too. show, we were talking about War, War Thunder. Thunder. Um, and hold him for the um, recording. Would you please refresh your thoughts on the um, War Thunder leaks? Uh, so the War Thunder leaks. For those of you who aren't aware, uh, it's, it's a it's War Thunder a game. I want to say it's a game. I think but it is. Way, is War Thunder a game? Listen to yourself, you have a boomer. Shush. Either way, it is a game that has a, an online forum, and on said forum, not once, not twice, but five times now, uh, classified information about military equipment has ended up on said forums. And I, for one, think it's hysterical. Um, you know, whatever CIA agent listens to all of these things, uh, you're going to love this, but... Um, you know, just fantastically, it, it really is truly remarkable what people, what chaos people can cause when they really want to put their minds to it. Vara, because I know you're going to be listening to this later, don't get any ideas. I don't know we assume that Vara just listens to all these recordings with no yes, evidence. He will. I mean, he's Vara. I sometimes listen. Oh, yeah, okay. I, I'm going to move my keyboard again. Like, this is the eighth time I've moved my keyboard to lessen my clickities. Also, apologies to everyone who are getting ASMR by my crisps. <laughs> yeah, we got, we got ASMR, we got keyboards. I'm the only one who's not making any weird noises. <laughs> oh, hey, 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 keyboard sounds are not weird. <sighs> well, they may not be weird. So, um, so I'm just going to say this, and before I invite Shadow to talk, um, as someone who has a parent who's ex-military, um, the whole thing is just very, which in the UK is a hell of a lot rarer than it is in the US. Oh yeah, um, sure. because you know um, we aren't in armed forces with a government attached in this country, with a health service with a government attached instead. Mm. <laughs> um, <laughs> topical politics reference. Um, so, <laughs> um, and we. And like, just, just what? How sad do you have to be? Um, like, how genuinely sad do you have to be that y your response to um, your response to being ro can, uh, called wrong on an online form is to leak classified information, do up to twenty years in jail. Yeah, you know, twenty. How little grass do you have to touch? How much grass touching do you actually ha actively have to be not doing? How much touching of grass do you have to be taking away from the earth? To, really? to do that. Well, on that note, you guys should really interact yourselves whilst really I take a phone call. Oh, gosh. Um, sorry, I missed entirely what he said. What did he say? Like, how, how, how little grass do you need to touch in order to... Yeah, yeah. I mean, I guess that just kind of plays to the question. Is nation states, is, is online form-based games in general just a, a recipe for a grass-touching deficit? Really, is there an optimal amount of grass that must be touched? I feel like that's a... <laughs> that is a question that must needs to be asked. Um, Truthfully, for me, uh, as somebody who does not play the game, who does not have interest in military equipment in this capacity, um, yeah. and who like will stare at 
who will stare at military equipment and go, I have no idea what any of this means when trying to do things for role play. It is absolutely hilarious that <laughs> it's absolutely hilarious that um, they that the War Thunder gets a detail wrong and they're like, here's the entire blueprint of the tank that was produced 10 years ago. My real question is, how in the world does one just get their hands on this stuff? Like, <laughs> I think that's the best part. Like, that's, that is even, the best part. Like, it's not even that it's got leaked, but also that, like, random, you know, probably teenage gamers could just get their hands on classified information. The latest victim was the Russian military, which is doubly funny because of, you know, everything what's going on in Ukraine. And so, you know, it's like, I don't even know if they're still using those tanks, but it'd be funny if they were. And now, like, Anybody can figure out what exactly it is that will be used to make the tank. Like, and it's really, now you truly, know the weak spots. Yeah, truly, truly, War Thunder are the biggest Ukrainian <laughs> patriots. That is <laughs> best conclusion. A Styx princess put it: real casual espionage and like <laughs> real, real, real. Um. <laughs> Gosh. I just find it I find it hilarious that there are conspiracy theories that War Thunder is run by um, like Russians and Chinese to get US military intelligence and whatnot. And the hilarious part is not, like most of the leaks so far have not been about American equipment. Which oh is yeah, just, I mean that's <laughs> certainly something. Like if if they're set up to do if they're set up to to be spying on us, they're doing a god awful job of it. Let me tell you. Yeah, I mean, I, it, you know, this whole return on investment thing that just exists. Like, it feels <laughs> like if that is really what it is, you know, you got to think you're down horrendous. Like the Russian and just Russia, China. If you're listening, you are down horrendous in your investment on War Thunder. <laughs> sorry, to, <laughs> sorry to break it to you. But you are. Um, but I guess, like, this is the first real, I mean, I, I can't speak of any, I can't think of any other game that has caused this much, like, real-world mischief off the top of my head. Um, I mean, I'm sure there must be some, you know, that have caused, like, real-world problems in, in this way. But, you know, I can't think of any that would have quite the incentive structure to leak classified info. Yeah. Gosh. Um, yeah, I mean... I'm trying to think, like, I mean, I don't, uh, fortunately, like, the job of the delegate, like, just the job that I do and, and, you know, my real life, like, it just doesn't give me a lot of time to play games much anymore. So, like, I'm sure you can relate to that. <laughs> so, the way that I've gotten around it is, um, I, I know, very unofficially, um, I spent, uh, on, like, Thursday and Friday night, uh, Thursday, Thursday and Friday nights, and then, like, Saturdays. Um, I'll just kind of half ignore everything and just play games. Yeah, unfortunately, I feel like if I do that, I, I lose a lot, and, you know... It, yeah, it, but, there comes, but there comes a, there comes a balance. To me, it's a balance of keeping my sanity. So... Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I, once, I, once I've hit my limit... I'm gonna boot up a game, and if you dare interrupt my 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 game time, um, yeah, yeah, I have yelled at people before for interrupting game time. I don't know what my favorite thing right now is is that like laptop. I I actually need to update it because I'm gonna end up buying probably three two get two games on it and two games on my Mac here soon. Um, but it is kind of funny because like that one doesn't even have discord on it so if i'm doing it like i will probably show up playing a game but i'm gonna be ignoring you because i'm playing games on my gaming well it's not it's not even a gaming laptop which is the best part like it's just a laptop that i use it happens to have such shitty memory that like i if i if i use it if i have it for anything else it decides it wants to like go nuclear it's great um but yeah, and I'm a total nerd too. Like, I don't play a lot of like multiplayer stuff, so it's like, okay, yeah, I'll, I'm gonna boot up. You know, <sighs> probably the best game I have, like the, like the most fun game I have, is this game, uh, Prime Minister Infinity. Wim probably knows what it is, and Wim will also probably agree with me if he knows what it is. That that makes me a massive nerd for playing it. <laughs> but again, this is not something we didn't already know. Yeah, right. I, I mean, at this point, like, I feel like it just comes with the territory. Like, if you're 
uh, if you're playing nation states, you're probably a nerd of some capacity. Oh, yeah. Anyways, welcome back, Wim. <laughs> welcome back. Hey, I'm trying to sort a lot of stuff out. Um, but yeah. Oh gosh. Uh, we're fine. So yeah, that's um. So wh- where did we get? Uh, we just we got we just continued talking about War Thunder and how you know negative ROI for the Russians and Chinese if this is like actually their investments. Um, and then we started talking about you know gaming in general, and now we're here. <laughs> and now we're here. And now we're here. Uh, I had a thought process. You've done nothing of substance. <laughs> Essentially. Um, so, I feel like people in the East Pacific uh, are going to be a little bit more familiar with who I am. Um, so, I'm going to give you an opportunity to kind of introduce yourself yeah, and sure. your career in NS so far. Uh, and then I'll talk a little bit about myself, too, so that oh, yeah, those who don't know who I am will know. Yeah. So, um, hello, everyone. I'm, I'm Holden, as you probably have guessed so far. Uh, so now we're moving into the NS portion of the show, and I don't know how long this is going to last, but, you know, hold on, hold on to your boots. Um, <laughs> so I uh, originally got my start in 2000, late 2018, right after my 18th birthday, um, I didn't do much like the first like couple of months I was in on an S, largely because I was like my senior year of high school. And uh, for any of you Americans, I'm sure you know just how stressful like senior year is, especially if you've ever been like you know a student taking a lot of super advanced coursework. Um, but uh, so I joined an S. My first, the first region I moved to is actually I actually was founded in TEP. Fun fact, we figured that out the other day. Um, yeah, so I am a, I was I was founded in TEP. But um, my then the first nation, the first region I moved to outside of TEP because I d- wasn't like doing anything. I was one of those like, as I put it, I'm one of those like faceless, nameless like mass that just answers their issues. I didn't even interact on the RMB. I don't think. Who uh, is <laughs> <laughs> damn marsupials? Which is even better considering you know the RMB gremlin I'd become. Um, but I was so I originally joined Force. Not my probably greatest decision, but you know, for us, you know, we we respect you guys. Force. Um, what? Who who did you say you joined? Sorry, Force. Force. It was the, oh dear. It was the first. It was the first TG I got that I was like semi even somewhat interested in. Sadly, that's um, not even like the most shameful bit of your NS history. But go on, please tell the crowd. Oh, 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 <laughs> <we're getting there. laughs> no, no, fire! We're getting there. So I joined Force, didn't really do anything. Again, I would just, like, log in, answer my issues, you know, whatever. I didn't even know the trading cards were a thing at the time. You know, that kind of an esser. Um, But I initially, after that, I joined the NWA. And for those of you who aren't aware of what the NWA is, that is the oh, new Western no. Atlantic. Thank you, Andy, so much for liberating them. Inshallah, we shall boil it soon. Um, <laughs> but, yeah, we, after I, I was there, so I was in basically the NWA, NWE sphere for, like, the better part of a year. Um, I know that it's, like, Sorry. all the details there, because that's just a lot of, like, stuff that probably don't need to get into. It would just take a long time to talk about. That is a place that has a lot of copium and cesium in it. Uh, well, it does, <laughs> but not for me anymore. I just want to see them burn. Um, I've been trying to burn them I, for a while. Some men just want to watch the world burn. <laughs> Some TNT delegates just want to watch the UCRs that they were in burn. Yes, correct. Yes. Except for Thesha. Mm, um, that's it. So does that mean you're burning down Euro? Oh, in Europe. But I meant like ones that I was in with Hold'em. And also not Europe, because we love Europe. Europe are great. Uh, we don't need to be causing another diplomatic incident to the radio show. <laughs> Yeah, radio, radio, and radio and diplomacy are truly my passions. <laughs> love, your pa- love your passion, everyone. Yeah, it's, um, it's something you and Shadow recently combined so well. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, but getting back on track a bit. Um, I so I left the NWE in March of 2020, right as the pandemic hit. Um, literally, right. I literally left it like so. Um. You know, I'm sure everybody has like their pandemic story, but I went so I didn't I still don't have internet at my home in Virginia. And I was thinking, okay, well, even if we're online for two weeks, I can go back to they were still allowing us to 
go back to our dorms because I was thinking it'll all be over by Christmas. Well, yeah. So I was thinking, okay, you know, I'll be able to have a stable internet connection there. It won't be that bad, and it will be done in a couple of weeks. Well, obviously, that's not what happened. Uh, you know, spoiler alert for anybody who uh, missed it. Um, but I, so I was actually in my, my freshman year dorm room and I clicked the button to move out to another region that I also then left like six weeks later. Um, very fun times. Uh, yeah. And then after that, uh, I was in Thacia and I was in Thacia for about a year, uh, served a ton of different places, a ton of different like things in there. Um, and then I left tried to create my own region that fell through because I'm just not very good at balancing, you know, NS and real life. Um, and I thought, okay, well, I'm going into my third year of undergrad and I'm going to be applying to grad schools. So probably not a good idea to have this thing that I am the only person working on. And, uh, that I left, uh, joined TNP, uh, well, I'd been in TNP since, uh, August, 2020 and, or I'd been in TNP since August of 2020. And the, I moved there because I was interested, started becoming interested in becoming a World Assembly author. And um, I don't remember how I ran into Cree Talks, but I did. And he you was like, hey, the WA you know, elite. Yeah, and I joined the WA ministry. And uh, after some legal changes and lots of hard work, um, I became the minister. Wait, you did hard work? <laughs> <laughs> We're just, out here, we're just out here catching bodies today, Jesus. <laughs> this is the, the, see, you both thought this was a radio show to talk about the great relationship with T, between TNP and TP. This is actually me my, getting my revenge on both of you for that other radio show, and the headache it caused me. This is when this is when this is Wim's roasting hour. <laughs> yeah, Wim and Ham roasting hour. Um, but yeah. Anyways, we uh. So we get, uh, where was I going with this? So yeah, so I joined TMP's, or TMP's WA ministry. And actually on the day that I became TMP's WA minister, I shut down the old region I was working on that I was like the only one working on. And partially because I was like, I don't know what my time commitment is going to be like as a minister in between that and the job I had at the time. And being a uni, a uni student, I was like, probably not a good idea to do both or all three. Um, so I didn't. And... Uh, in May, I became FA minister, and a week and a half ago, I became delegate. And now we're here. The dark times. The dark times. Actually, truly, the dark tr times. Truly I, truly, I am terrible and will bring us all to ruin, and you should never, yes, ever... Yes, absolutely, and that's why I'm proud to announce my resignation as minister of... You heard it here first, but you heard it here first. You heard it here first. You heard it here Live first. On a radio show. Oh, Live on a radio joking. show. Yeah, okay, so y'all are just going to have to deal with the clickety noises, because there's nowhere I can put this keyboard where I can reach it and still type and not have my microphone pick it up. I have tried to turn down this yeah, microphone. No, Minister, You're good. the thing you need to realize, fundamentally, is that radio shows are cheaper than therapy. Amen. And also, Hull and I are just two very chaotic people, truthfully. Holden is not chaotic. Holden is lawful good, the person. Oh, <laughs> I am the exact opposite of that. I am pretty much... Well, chaotic I mean, evil. I am chaotic evil or chaotic good, depending on the day. Yes. Uh, people who are in the TP Earth RP server can tell you uh, my chaoticness has a range of me memeing. Or me causing the chaos. Right. Okay, I could be chaotic evil and still not be Hold mean. It. I mean, do you want to talk about why we're here? Um, I'll let Shadow. Shadow. Shadow wants to. Do you want to talk about why we're doing this, Shadow? Why I'm making you shake hands and hold okay, hands? I would say you're making us do this. I would say this has been kind of fun so far. Yeah, this has been kind of fun. So, um. <laughs> oh, um, how do we so how do we say this about last, looking so the last time the last time that I was on a radio show um so the last time I was on a radio show uh Wim was hosting it in uh in uh Europea. I wasn't hosting it no you weren't no god no no 
Oh my god, um, who was hosting it? No idea, but I, I heard about this as it was PH. Yes. It was PH, right? Because um, this oh, one live tweeted to me in DMs so, by a couple of people. Yeah. Uh, okay. So back. long. So the very long, out the very long story of this, uh, kind of condense it down and shaving off a lot of details because a lot of them kind of don't matter for too much. Um, I was on a radio show. Europe, our European invited us to do a radio show. I went with Altis over, and we were doing a radio show. And um, we were talking about uh, we were talking about repeal condemned souls, uh, ever wandering souls. And he, long uh, through a long series of uh, through a long series of miscommunications and. Uh, very thin, thinly veiled talking of experiences. Uh, Hull and I came to blows uh, a little bit. A little bit yeah. is uh, not... <laughs> in a public, little bit is, I would add. In public, nonetheless. Um, a little bit doesn't describe it. It was not a little bit. It was... <laughs> the gloves came off, truthfully. Um, and we both kind of sparked... We both said some things we probably shouldn't have. Yeah, we both and, said things we shouldn't you know, have. We sparked an inter we, international crisis. God, we sparked a little bit underestimating a, a bit of a diplomatic incident, and we have because since talked it through. Is... <laughs> yeah. from, well, children, and... you're going to shake hands. <laughs> <laughs> One of the things that we did agree to, uh, or just agree in general that we need to do, is we just need to be a little bit more communicative. Um, yeah, and I think some of that is, you know, the culture that our regions have. I mean, I can't really speak about, like, I can't really speak about TEP, you know, what you guys is on, but, like, TNP is very much a definitely a need-to-know culture where if it is not directly in your chain of command or something that, like, you need to know to do your job, you're probably not going to know about it. Um, and I can, I, I'm not going to, like, start rattling off things because, you know... It, that would be bad. That yeah. would be very bad. At, at this at this point, <laughs> we've just kind of we've mean? acknowledged that it's water under the bridge. We we'll put it that. I, hopefully, I think it's water under the bridge. And as I said to everyone, this ra this shows that radio shows are just cheaper than couples therapy. <laughs> <laughs> what are we pinning? What are we pinning? Oh uh, yes, we're pinning that. Why does this sound like YouTuber apology video oh, from my mother? Pin powers. Hold on. This so is... basically, to, just to context this, hold on, do you want, well, t may or may not just tell people um, precisely how angry I got uh, when this happened. I just, uh, honestly, I was in a car for most of the next day when this, like, really went down. So I just chose to ignore most of it, to be completely honest. I was trying to determine what I wanted to do originally. If people want uh, to, if anyone else goes, I was fucking apoplectic. Um, well, of course you were. Truly, you are a paragon of virtue, my dear Win and Ham. Uh, words were said. Um, I believe. No, I know. I, I know. Words were. were said. Um, <laughs> words were said. I believe that the phrase "What the fuck were you thinking?" Um, yes, that was a phrase that was used. Can confirm. Yeah. Um, um, yeah. Yeah. Um, so, but now, now everyone is happy. We are hosting this lovely event between our two illustrious regents. Um, if only it wasn't for the Nazi spammer. <laughs> Rats. <laughs> rats. Wait, hold on. Okay, so on the topic of rats, do you know the band Ghost? No, I don't. I, I know the player Ghost, but that just tells you how little grass I touch. Oh, come on. I don't think, I don't really think it's that, like, I don't... <laughs> The yes, Minsky. We are not all the rejected realms, unfortunately. <laughs> <laughs> unfortunately, we um, yeah. I I can't say anything there without getting kind of mean, so I'm not going to say anything. <laughs> <laughs> the rejected realms is the Labrador of nation states. Um, it just eats all it 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 eats all the stuff no one else wants, and we appreciate them for that. Yeah. But I still feel bad for them, I'm not gonna lie. Oh no, I do. It's okay though, we're, they're not allowed a safe space, as Sage says. 
Um, I have posted the song that I was referenced or that I was trying to reference with the mention of rats, uh, and especially with the way that Hull said rat. So, yeah, um, yeah. So um, that that was the thing that happened. That is why we all gathered here today. We are we gathered here today. <laughs> we are all gathered here today. <laughs> we are gathered here today. Gotta do the wedding. Yeah, the wedding. I know by. someone. I have got a copy of the recording. I got a copy of the recording of someone. Oh, of course you did. Of oh, course no. you did. I mean, of course. I mean, I, I, it, it is actually quite a fun listen, but unfortunately, no one going to hear it. It's very funny to listen to, though. Um, when I adore you, but sometimes, sometimes, man. <laughs> <laughs> Look, you laugh or you cry, and I did the crying at the time, so now I'm laughing. Um, we'd love to hear what people you sign an NDA. An NDA. Um, you can't <laughs> sign an NDA, but you could sign up for the NPA recruitment. Oh, yeah. yeah. Sign up for the NDA, or you, you can go. Go. Or you sign go. up for the EPSA. Points. <laughs> hold, on, hold on, hold on. You can do both. You can do both. I, I, I think you can do both. No, our one, we rescinded our one-hand policy. Really? Yeah, we did. That was one of my first acts in office. Oh, nice. <laughs> awesome. Yeah, so... Yeah, yeah, you can... Why not do both, kids? Yeah. Why not, why not join your loyal... and Why not be a loyal NPA soldier and a loyal member of EPSA? You'll have twice the fun from twice the European commanders. Icarus and Vor, we love you both. <laughs> we love you both. You, you have a pay of the Swiss Confederacy of nation states. <laughs> I mean, I... Or, I mean, or why don't you... Or why don't you do what I do, or what I would do, and just lock your WA? Solution. Uh, yeah, okay, here's I, I an mean, idea. Do you know what the solution to that is? What? Do you, do you have Breeze Plus Plus installed? Uh. No. Uh, whim. No. No. <laughs> oh, that's I a shame. am not. I am not WA multiing. No, I was trying to see if I could trick you into resigning WA. No. <laughs> whim. I'm Bad not gonna whim. pull. I'm not gonna do an atlay. Okay, moment. We All love the, you, uh, Atlate, by the way, if you're listening to this. Or Salem moment is the person who got um, saddled with that. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Um, but, yeah, so that aside, apart from War Thunder, and what Thunder have you guys... and getting to learn a little bit about me, but not all of it because you don't want to know all of it. Do you want to know a bit? Do people want to know a bit about me or the, do, would they prefer just to know a bit I about think Shadow? Should, I, think, I think Shadow should say a little bit. Yeah. Um, oh, yeah. Let me, let me talk about myself a little bit um, because I haven't done that. Um, for most of you who are here in the East Pacific, you should have some idea of who I am. However, for all of you who do not know who I am, hi, I'm Shadow. I am the current delegate of the East Pacific. Yay! Um, yay! Um, I have been a part of nation, nation states. Jesus. I can't Words, speak. Words. English. I, I, I don't English. This is why I French. da 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 All of you français? Anyways, um, so <laughs> it's gonna move past my horrible pronunciation. I could read French a lot better than I can speak it so bad. Um, I joined the Nation States in April of 2020, uh, right around uh, the Drew wave. Um, I did not join because of the Drew. Uh, I actually ended up watching his video after I joined uh, Nation States, which was kind of funny. But um, I was founded in the East Pacific as well, uh, and I have been here ever since. Sammy was the one who recruited me. Um, all credit to Sammy, by the way, for that one. Um, Sammy is what got me to kind of stick around in the East Pacific. Um, and several other factors. Uh, I have really enjoyed the RP community here, which is why I also stayed more more than not. Um, so I've been here since April of 2020, um, and then like a month later, I joined. Uh, I joined. Um, I was a part of the Ministry of Foreign Affairs, and I actually ended up uh, joining. 
I ended up making a puppet and moving it into Thacia, and have been a part of Thacia since, uh, I want to say May, maybe June of 2020. Um, and I, I've had dual citizenship there for, uh, since then as well. Um, in TEP, I have served as, get ready for this, I've served as a diplomat, as a senior diplomat. I've, uh, I've served as a minister. I joined, joined, God, I was a magister. I was a deputy provost. I was a provost. I was an arbiter. Uh, I was a vizier and I was an arbiter. Um, I served as a viceroy. Um, I served as an RP officer in TEP. Um, I have done a lot in TEP. My resume is quite long. Um, the Viceroy is in charge of the Conclave, which is the court of the East Pacific. Um, I was... Oh, yes, and Delegate. Yes, Delegate's also on there. Diplomat, Senior Diplomat, uh, Chancellor of uh, Chancellor of Foreign Affairs. That was a title that later came in. Minister, I was part of multiple ministries. Whew. Uh, and then in Thacia, I was... Speaker of the House, I was a member of uh, the House of Commons, I was a justice, I was the Chief Justice, I was a professor of UTEP, I forget about that, I am so sorry, Sammy. Um, I probably will go back to being a professor of UTEP when I'm done with everything, um, but uh, I have a very long resume, oh lord, I have no life, oh lord. Um, I don't know if there's much else to introduce myself there with. Yeah, I mean, just kind of piggybacking off of that in terms of, like, a little bit about, you know, more about me. Like, I, weirdly enough, I've never really done RP. Like, I have <gasps> pretty much always been either an FA player or uh, WA. I mean, I when I was young, like, younger in, in a game sense, like, I did a bit of legislating in Thacia and then in the NWAE, but, like, I never really been an RT person. Every time I've tried to do it, it's been like, oh, I just don't, like, I have other things on my plate, and it's like, I can never get around to doing it, so, yeah. <laughs> um, my goal, so, actually, I saw somebody saying, saying their goal is to QTEP, which, like, haha, I did it before you, because I'm delegate, ha, uh, get it? Da -da -da. Anyways. Um, my plan is, um, I want to eventually go back into being a vizier when I'm done being a delegate. Like, I don't know if it's immediately after or sometime later, but I want to get a leadership role within uh, the presidium. And then, and then I can say that I have held a leadership role in every single branch of tech. Which yeah, I mean, we don't, we don't have that many people who've done the, the tri the trifecta or the slam or the super slam. Uh, that, that, that would be so. You guys are unique in that respect. It's a lot more common in TEP than it is in TNP. Mm -hmm. And I don't. I, I. I. You know. I'm sure there are reasons why. Oh, yes, Minskyev, Super Slam. <laughs> uh, but anyways, you yelled that by Delegate Simulator. <laughs> okay, so now I get to brag about my NSCV. Oh no! Really, the most impressive, but also simultaneously least impressive, because you won't <laughs> believe it. Wim, he touches no grass. <laughs> um, yeah, I'm, who the fuck knew? Um, it's almost like um, I've been playing this game since I was, like, 12. I'm now 19 and at university. Um, yes, I have that little bit of life. Give me a second whilst I just update my NSCV, because I realised I haven't done that recently. The Trevor Project. Give me a second. Da, da, da. Slash you right, there we go. Okay, so also I found an NS in December 2015. It's been a while. Um, no idea where I found it. I have not the slightest idea. Since then, I have been at uh, home. <sighs> Chief Justice of Lazarus multiple times. PR Director, Deputy Chairperson, various stuff at NS today when that was still a thing. Innumerable things in Pacific were the success of Regent Thalassia, um, the same in the Empire of Mare Nostrum was that when that was still a thing. Uh, various things in Karma. Um, priest visit, Chief Scribe, Deputy Scribe, 
um, Deputy Commander of the Second Met Legion, um, Vizier of Foreign Affairs, Vizier of Community Affairs, Guardian Priest, Chief Vizier, and for 12 hours World Assembly Delegate, Vesiris, um, authored a couple of GA resolutions, um, Speaker in TWP, and then Deputy Minister of Foreign Affairs, Minister of Culture, and MOFA in the North Pacific. Oh, and on the side of that, every December I raise a couple of grand for charity as a side hustle. Casual side hustle, guys. Side hustle indeed, truly. Um, Nothing yeah. has a thing been more casual than Wim's relationship with the Christmas charity fundraiser. Oh yeah, I mean, totally. Yeah, totally not like I take a fucking month off in December and come out of it a broken man. No. <laughs> oh yeah. No, no. no. Um, Jim, I was away. For, I was gonna say I was away from the charity fundraiser for most of the work this year. Actually, my fucking family said to me, what? "Oh no, what they say? This is the most awake you've looked around Christmas in like three years." <laughs> See, even your family knows your relationship with the NS Christmas charity fundraiser. <laughs> I have to so, say, it was. A... Go on, sorry. I was going to say, it was a lot of fun being a part of the Christmas charity. Um, I had a lot of fun doing the Solaris stream, but that's also because it was Solaris who wouldn't have fun doing that. Um, and then sitting in on Fidel and... I can't think of who the other person I, was. I didn't realize you were so supportive of these specifics former Kua Shadow. <laughs> hey, look. Y'all needed somebody to be the stream tech late at night. I was like, hey, I'm not going to bed yet. I'll do it. Uh, anyways, uh, me... Um, anyways, so yeah, th that's that's what some of us have done. Um, I literally have nothing approaching a social life. There are NSs who knew me when I joined NS. I have seen me for since I'm from between the age of 12 and 19, going on 20 this September. Mm -hmm. Um... They feel so fucking old. <laughs> um, there's no other way to put it. They feel so fucking old, and I adore how old I make them feel. But then I realize how old Vara makes me feel. Um, Vara truly is twenty sixty or twenty 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 two's women hand. But do you know what the good thing about twenty twenty three is? What's that? What? The twenty ten babies can now join Discord. Oh no! I'm choosing to ignore the people. See, what's going to be even worse is when. People who could have joined Discord when I was 13, or when I turned 13, when they start joining Discord in a few years. So that will be 2020, that will be in, oh my god, I that'll feel be, old. That will be 26. Six year times, no, be I six am years already, I am old, no, I'm old at this point, mm-mm. I mean, I'd like to think of myself as that old in the context of NS, largely because it's like, well, if I start thinking of myself as being really old, I'll realize that I have wasted three years of my life where I could have had a social life on a Hold browser. Him, I've, I've been on this game for near, for coming up to seven years. I no, have I literally know. spent a third of my, more than a third of my life on this game. And that is your funeral. That, um, yeah, that is your funeral. No offense, but also all the offense. Like, is God. Also, yeah, Shadow, I... Yeah. But again, so I said this before we started recording, but I'm just going to say it here. Shadow, people mistake Shadow for someone younger than they are because they have quite a youthful and, you know, happy and energetic <laughs> voice. I have had, in person, people mistake me for a 40-year-old. Um, <laughs> I was on holiday in America in December and I got mistaken for my younger brother's dad. He's three years old, younger than me. That, that, is, that is a huge oof. That, um, that is rough. Um, so... I actually, sh I've actually shaved, um, because facial hair, for some reason, is becoming more and more dysphoric for me. That's fair. So, I've had, I've, I've been, like, constantly shaving more and more and more and more and more. Um, I'm noticing that if I fully shave, I look like I'm, like, I look like I shouldn't even be at a bar. I look like I should be in, um... In school still. That's how young I look when I don't have any facial hair on. Um, because I have gone out to bars, and I have been ID'd, and people have told me that my ID is fake. My very real 
ID has been told that it was fake. I've had to talk to several police departments about it. Oh my god! No, I've I know I've I've got I, I, things without my without a beard. I look like nine, um, oh. but with a beard, I look like fifty nine. It's, yeah, it's it's. it's a I mean, I, I mean, I, 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 I solved this problem because, like, I, I think Web has seen the picture of me. I yes, kind I of, have. Like, you like, look exactly I like I imagine you looking. I mean, I still <laughs> probably. I mean, I still probably look a little younger than twenty two, but like, yeah, I also can't do a beard. Like, it grows in scraggly and it's like just not good but i could probably grow a full beard i couldn't grow a mustache which is very funny because my dad has a mustache so you, you hold him you look exactly like i imagine you would i don't I know could, if that's I a could, compliment yeah. or an insult um it's, <laughs> you know, honestly it's like it's like when you uh, meet an essence you imagine what they look because it's i have mental image and a mental name of what someone's image and name is like um just just based on talking to them and it's nearly never correct um, Quebec famously thinks I'm blonde. <laughs> I'm not. I don't know why Quebec thinks I'm blonde. Um, I'm just not. I, I have to. I have to say, um, Gong, I love you and all. Like you, you are you are a very pure human being. Uh, in the in the sea of non purity, known as Discord, but. Uh, the incorrect solution to my problem is not stopping going to bars. It is continuing to going to bars and having to do the same spiel every single time I go to a bar. I mean, like, I, yeah, I'm I honestly no. I, I, if people do that, I'm I'm not giving a certain part of the others because I'm not sure if that's something they're comfortable with. I would find that amusing in chat. I'm not going to ask the others to go through that though because they may not be comfortable with that. Not with that. That's fine. What, really. Explaining what we think we look like. Yeah, nobody who knows. Nobody who nobody who has seen a picture of me gets to say anything. No, I yeah. so, same goes for you, Holden, because I'm pretty sure you've seen a photo of me. Yeah. Yeah, same thing goes uh, I think Sa Sammy has seen a oh, wait, hold on. Who's it who's in the audience? Who have got who can I call out? Uh Sammy can't say anything. Aggie can't say anything. And I think that's the only people who who can't say anything about me. Yeah, it's just Minsk and yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna assassinate anybody that talks about what I actually look like. Like some 2010 <laughs> scene kid. Oh no! Oh no! Oh, but see, my face was blurred out in it, so you can't you can't tell me. You can't you can't you still have not seen an actual full on photo of my face. And um, that that's very much not. Would you say that's what I look like? Holden, what Minsky's description is? No, no God, I don't think that's what I look like either. <laughs> That is that is hilarious. What is Hole's description? I didn't see Hole's from. Uh, Nobody's Minsk. tried. Nobody's tried to hold. No one's tried to hold him yet. Um, so all star appearances are ridiculed and mocked. Um, <laughs> actually, I think Shadow looks like Dream IRL. Um, no, sorry, no. God, it, it sad to me that I had to do a double take as to who Dream was. <laughs> I, I, for what it's worth, I don't know. Maybe I am a boomer. No, I'm not a shadow. I'm a Della Dark now, okay? Gloriousness. Okay, as long as you don't call yourself the Della Garth, because that's taken by Ella Garth. No, 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 no. I'm the, the Della Dark. It was it was the shot the, the shadow get um when I started and then um Oh my god, I can see the person. Yo, uh, Y0. Um, <laughs> Y0 came up with the idea of Della Dark, and I was like, keeping it! Where's the smile behind the mask? Uh, that's called depression. That's called depression. <laughs> Wait, so are you saying depression incarnate? Which wouldn't be exactly correct. Uh, this, is, this is hilarious. I like how the idea of, of descriptions of what people look like has gone out the window. Yeah, yeah I, right? think, I think it's just moved to titles. Um, <laughs> well, what's my title people? then? Um, humble functionary. Oh, I don't know. You are, neither, you are neither humble nor a functionary. I'm the humblest functionary. <laughs> Some 1920s rich socialite. That That is... <laughs> 
Yeah, that that is it. certainly a description. I mean, to be fair, you, you, you do, you, your, your Discord tag is Asquith's Angels, so... That fair works. enough. That's just because it's alliterative and I like it. That's not, like... Yeah. And oh, I'm, yeah, no, I do not look anything like this. more effective as delegate than Asquith was as Prime Minister. Oh. Uh, <laughs> daggers, Wim. Daggers. <laughs> daggers, Wim. Daggers. But, you know, that's actually... That's, I mean, what's best is that's not even Asquith in my PFP. Um, I know who that is in your PFP, and it's silly. It makes me even. It makes me even worse than I seem. I can't even. I, no offense. No offense, but I cannot see that face. I have tried to zoom in on that. Um, Wim, do you want to? No, do you, you can. It's your information to okay. DM me so I can tell you if you're right. Ugh. I I want to see. I want to see. Me or if Wim is right. Right. Yeah. Yeah. I want to see if you're right. I don't even know who the hell that is. You prob most Americans probably wouldn't. There's Wim is a. Oh, is it an great. American politician? No. No. I am an American here. I thought it'd be one of those two. No, it's not. It is actually Joe Grennan. <laughs> oh, you told me it's really? Joe Grennan. Hold yeah, on, wait, that is. I'm googling this. Joe oh. Grennan, who was uh, leader of the Liberal Party from 1956 to 1967. During its, literally, during its like, Nadir Nadir party. Okay, that was Clement Davies, thank you very much. Um, they actually won a few by-elections from 62 to 67. Again, or actually from 59 to 67, because they won the Torrington by-election in 58, and then they won at Orpington in 62, there was another one in 63, and then uh, David Seale came to Parliament in 65 with uh And then, then there was Jeremy Thorpe. He was an interesting people's. leader, wasn't he? Wasn't he Holden? You know, yeah, I, I would yeah, say so. He, um he is he dead now so I can say this without libeling him. Ah, oh, we wouldn't we wouldn't want you to get in trouble for yes. libel. Um the person who definitely didn't kill his partner, he swears. Sounds like OG Simpson up in this business. The thing is, he was the leader of a major parliamentary party, and he had an assassin shoot his lover. Of course, he didn't want to be course. outed as being gay. Uh, well, the problem is the assassin fucked up, and then there was a very famous court case where the um, the trial was just um, it was a bit of a um, it was it, it was something. Yeah, it was so basically the, the, in the summing up. The judge called the the person who he tried to have killed a fraud, a sponger, a whiner, and a parasite. In his <laughs> summing up, which is definitely neutral. Very incredibly neutral. The most neutral. Oh, the most neutral. Um. Yeah. Uh, Astro, Astro, that is uh El Pasoneering. You cannot post that. Uh, <laughs> I, your message, you, you still cannot have your message that says vote Astro for delegate. That is electioneering. I am sorry. Sorry to inform bad, you. Bad. Bad. We support, we, support, we support campaigning, but only when it's legal. Exactly. Um, now, the good news is in TNP, good news is in TNP, it's legal all the time. Now, now my question is, is, is our soft money donations legal in TP? Um, I will neither confirm nor deny if, uh, if, uh, soft money donations are allowed in TEP. Um, though, uh, if you're interested to know, you know where my DR. Uh, you send 5,000 telegram stamps to Shadow's <laughs> Send 5,000, yeah, send 5,000 telegrams to, to Shadow for, you know. For the lols. <laughs> no, don't actually do that. That's a bad Ooh, idea. I am not actually. No. Or you could channel your inner Nadim Zahawi and voluntarily choose to pay the tax man forty million pounds, but you swear that's not an indication you did anything wrong. You just did out the <laughs> kindness of your heart. Obviously. Obviously. No, guys, don't actually send me stamps. Holy shit! No, 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 no. Oh god. Oh my god. Please do not send me stamps. Like, legitimately. 
Do you not know? Do you can have them return. Funny fact, fun fact, if she, if you send Shadow Stamps and he's literally told you not to, then, then they, they, it's my apology, Shadow, they, um, if, they, you sh if you send them stamps, then Shadow can actually report you to the mods, have the stamps returned, and the mods will delete you for harassment. <laughs> oh, no. So consider before you're trying to be a funny man, funny. Um, now, if you think it's worth getting deleted to annoy them, which I'm not saying it isn't. Hmm. Clearly being free from this prison called Nation States might be worth it to some people, you know. <laughs> it, it, uh, sadly, it is worth it to some people. Oh, God. Um, so, I, I'm going to move into an, uh, into an interesting topic here. Pardon. But this is a topic I like to talk about, um, or I, I have tried to be talking about with more delegates. As the delegate of... Um, as as delegate of uh, the North Pacific, I almost said the East Pacific <sighs> of TNP. How much hate mail have you received so far? Surprisingly, none. Um, I don't. <laughs> I mean, I don't. I, I gotta be completely honest. Most of the time, if it's not a D, if it's not a Telegram, I'm looking for specifically is like somebody appealing a ban. I just ignore it and I delete it. <laughs> okay, so what I will say um, is, ironically, I genuinely. Um, I probably get more hate mail than Holden does, but I don't That's get hate really mail, funny. hate mail. Um, I just see what certain people have to say about me. Um, <laughs> I adore how much certain people dislike me. I I, I know how many, how, because there's some people who utterly hate my guts, and I love it. So, <laughs> the reason why I love talking about this topic is... So, my nation on, uh, on NS, my main, whatchamacallit, my na main nation, uh, is Eastern Algeria. It is, so my flag right now is a, a combination of the bisexual flag colors and Based. Sailor Moon. Based. It is absolutely hilarious. I, like, there, I have received death threats in my t telegrams over it. Oh, yeah, no. And it is so funny. I don't... We have a channel in our executive server dedicated to, like, um, dedicated to infamous TGs. And a lot of times, some of the heat mail that's a little more tame than anything I'll put in there. But, like, in the last month and a half, I've received... Like, I have received actual death threats in my TGs. I have reported them oh to the mods. Yeah, no, I mean, oh. that, that's... See, can I just part and share my experiences as that, as someone who um, does that, um, every, who raises money for Trev Project. Yeah, it, it's, yeah like, it, it's obscene. Oh, yeah. Um, honestly, it's, uh, the sad thing is, is at one point, you just... I'm not sure if you've reached that point yet, um, Shadow, but you may end up reaching this point where you just stop minding. Oh, I have never, from day one as delegate, I knew I was going to receive hate because I've always had, I've always had in some form or another the bisexual flag as my nation flag. Um, so I know that I'm going to get a lot of hate and I really don't care because I just find, I find it empowering because it means I'm doing something fucking right, to be honest. That's fair. Um... But yeah, it's it, it. The internet is an awful fucking place. Um, yeah, the, the internet is a very nasty place. Um, ooh, 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 ooh. Nothing. Don't worry. Don't worry. Ah. Um, I just had a thought. I had no idea. Just sent me that you telegram. We don't, don't like it when Wim has thoughts. Well. I know that's that's what that's one of the perks of um, having uh, ADHD. They happen very rarely. Oh yeah, uh, I will. Uh, another thing I will say about uh, just on the topic of this, um, there was one person who sent me. Um, there was somebody who sent me. They got deeded before I even opened the TG. They were deeded. Somebody sent me a TG, um, who wished upon me a very graphic death. Like, they went into detail oh, about it, <laughs> and I was like, what? First, so I'm sitting there reading this, 
And my first thought is, oh, I should be concerned for my safety. That was not my first thought. My first thought was, what kind of person do you have to be to sit there, to mauled so badly over something like this and go, you know what I need to do? I need, I need to write hate mail and not just any hate mail. Oh, I, need to, I need to describe how it's going to happen. Like, some of the description, I'm like, damn, how do you know how that would work? Like, damn, how would you know how that would work? <laughs> no, no, but honestly, that is some, my, my accusation is just like, in my, oh, what I would say also is someone who is um, now um, does a lot of society. Now, I'm not sure if you guys have societies in the same way we do in the like US. Clubs. UBs, I mean, they're mostly like clubs. I mean, they're they not are, like, they have a yeah. much bigger thing. Yeah. Like, in, in a way that they just aren't in the US, societies and UK unis are huge. Um, as, and as someone who is now a society exec at a very big disability society at my university, I was also very good friends with the um, people on the Pride Sock and other stuff. You think it would get... You think online is any worse than the um, NS? Um, it's not. Like the the, the 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 online is a reflection of the real of the world we live in. Mm-hmm. I'm not sure if that's. I mean, that that's got to be kind of like upsetting in some way because it's like you know people, if they're legitimately this terrible here, obviously they're going to be that terrible. Well, I would say that like, I promise I'm not like drawing equivalents between like people being terrible here and outside. I'm just saying like odds are if people are this terrible here, there are people who are just as bad outside of NS or worse. Yeah, or worse. I mean, like. And because of NS, I've had to fill out an FBI tip form before. Yeah. Oh my god. And because of NS, I've had to sit in on a Zoom call with someone's workplace HR. Oh, wow. Like, and, 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 don't and, want and other people who do have out to um, mm-hmm. will, yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah, the world, it's a very, really quite shit place. Um, is the internet and just the world in general because let's be clear although the internet does tend to attract a high proportion of um, less than desirable individuals than quote unquote normal society does it's still a reflection of the world we live in and it's decidedly unpleasant because people are dicks oh also, yeah this got deep really quickly good oh, lord I am very good at uh, making getting into very deep topics very quickly. Um, this wasn't NS related. Uh, there's a there's a pride bar near where I live um, that I like, will go to occasionally. I, I haven't actually been to it in about a month and a half. I should go again soon. But um, there was one night I went, and they had the entire block cut. Like there were police cars all over the bar. And I texted a bartender that I knew at the bar because I went to it enough during the summer where they started to know me. Um, and I was like, hey, what's up? They closed down the entire block because somebody sent in um, a credible bomb threat. Yeah. And I'm like, my heart broke because I'm like, what kind of fucking person does that? Like, just, it just, I, I don't know where the disconnect in my head is where... I don't understand where their rationale is. People are dicks. They are! Oh my god! Yeah. I thought it would get better once you got out of, like, you know, once you got out of school. No, it becomes a lot more serious when you get out of school. (laughs) (laughs) It doesn't get better, it gets worse, because suddenly it's not them threatening to... Suddenly, instead of them threatening to beat you up after class or slamming into a locker room, they have weapons instead. It's... Yeah, it, it, it doesn't become better, it becomes worse. Which is I do have to say, though, I do have to say, though, um, I was a Boy Scout um, growing up, uh, which you can take away whatever you want from that. But I was a Boy Scout growing up because of it. And I worked at a Boy Scout summer camp uh, in 2019. So I still have um, I still have the ability to carry pocket knives with me. Technically, legally, technically not. The weird the, the laws in uh America pertaining to pocket knives are very weird and very state to state. Uh, but because I was part of Boy Scouts and I can kind of fudge it, I can 
I carry with me an actual pocket knife most places that I go. I won't carry it with me when I go to like bars or anything, but I'll keep it in my um because I should like I'm just afraid that you know if I go to certain locations, I'm going to need it. And that is a terrifying thought to have. Like I didn't have that thought when I was in school. And I was around people who were actual gangsters in school. Um, befriended a lot of them because they would just rant stories to me and secrets, and I would just keep them all. It was very interesting. I was an odd person in high school. I'll just put it that way. Is in high school? If anybody, yeah, high school in the U.S. is a trip. <laughs> oh, yeah. God, um, <laughs> the worst. First of all, you're cramming kids that are between the ages of, like, 13, 14, all the way up to 17, 18, sometimes 19, depending if you're in a public high school and if they got held back or not. You, you've got this age range of people, right? Whew. Things get weird quick. Like, yeah. the, okay, first of all, the memes that you see about, like, high, uh, seniors hitting on freshmen. Oh, no, that happens. That totally happens. Is an actual legitimate <laughs> thing. Absolutely happens. And it is disgusting. I'm yeah. sorry. Don't, don't be a nonce, people. Don't yeah. be a nonce! Um, do, you, do, you, do you have the word, do you guys even know what the word nonce means in a bit? I do. You, yeah. It, do, don't be a nonce. Um, I will say, uh, so to answer Comfort's question in chat, you know, high school can start at 13. It kind of depends mm -hmm. on where you are in locality. It also like, depends. I know. Like, I know a couple places where the middle school and the high school are combined, and that's just mm -hmm. because, like, the district is so small that it doesn't make sense to have a separate middle school and high school. Um, it also depends on... It also depends on if it's a four-year high school or a two-year high school, or it also depends on how old you are when... or uh, when your birthday falls, because you might be able to... Uh, you might either be an older kid in your class, so you'll probably be... Uh, 14 by the time you go into high school, or you could be like me, who has a birthday in the summer, and be the youngest kid in the class. So that was me in the UK. My birthday is September, um, late September, and I was probably one of the oldest in my year. That got ventified when they moved me up here, and I was in the youngest in my year, despite being born in September. Yeah. Awesome. Uh, which, was that, which is weird. Um, and that, that means I got to get the um, crippling issues that all G&T kids seem to get. Oof. Um, I've yet to meet a G&T kid who does not have some sort of neurodiversity, mental health issues, or all of the above. Well, you see, Wim, the neurospicy is the price that us G&T kids pay. Some of us, <laughs> some of us, some of us came into some of us came into this program <laughs> with neurospicy. Others of us leave with it. And you know, <laughs> the neurospicy is, is the friends we made along the way. Oh, hey. Uh, it's the same thing in America with uh, gifted kids. I don't know. Uh, I don't know how it is in most other states. Um, I don't even know if any. I, I don't. From everything Wim's saying, I know that Wim's not Americano, but I don't I'm know. If, I don't know if Hull is or not, but I don't know how I'm it is. American, yeah. Ah, there's another American among us. Oh no, I said the words. It's Anyways. a nation state. Of course there's America. Okay, I'm sorry. As someone who knows some of the NS demographic information, nation state is majority US. Oh, rip. Um, I, th I don't know how it works in a lot of other states, but I was supposed to be in, like, the accelerated program. The only reason why I was not allowed into the accelerated program was because there was this one test that you took in fifth grade Literally, it was based off of How old is fifth grade? Uh, fifth grade's like... 11, 10, 11. 10, 11. So it's like the 11 plus here. Yeah, yeah. Um, uh, 10, 11, and it was one test. Uh, and on it, you had to be able to answer a certain amount of math problems in a time frame. I missed it by one question. Because the question I didn't answer was the one question that you weren't supposed to actually answer. I was already like two or three steps away from getting the answer, but because time ran out, it didn't count. And because of that, I didn't get in because I didn't answer enough questions, even though I had answered all of the hard questions correctly 
and had met all of the appropriate criteria to be in the accelerated program. Yeah, I remember I had something sort of like that, but I do not recall the details of it at all. I just know I did it. I got into the accelerated program. And yeah, probably why I suck at math, truth be told, because I, oh, I love math. Jack- no, I learned jack shit in my first and my second year math in my like sixth grade math class. Mm-hmm. So. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, I, I mean, I, I guess I'm decent at it, but like, I, I just don't. I'm not a huge math person. I am the kind of person who, in college, has kept saying, "I'm excited to take calculus." I'm excited to take calculus. God. Just sit, let that statement sink. I am at the level of neuro spicy where the statement "I am excited to take calculus" is a normal expression for me to say. Okay, but no, I, I think of what you be. As a politics student, I genuinely went to the pub with friends today and spent five hours <laughs> discussing options for constitutional reform in the United Kingdom and whether the additional member system or pit or um, another or what was the other system we discussed and um, single transferable vote was the best option for them um, the for a, for proportional representation in the UK. I spent five hours discussing that in the pub oh, today. Oh no! Um, I'm so glad that you. I'm- I'm, I'm actually working through a book on uh, an English constitutional history right now, and I'm glad that I am not the only one with this inescapable urge to just go ham on this sort of thing. Oh, I've gone ham on this topic, but not for the United Kingdom, no offense, uh, but for America, mainly because right. I look at the American system and I go, this is not only so terribly broken, this sucks. but just so astronomic Byzantine. Yes! Byzantine isn't even the right word to say. It, like, it's a Byzantine, Byzantine system. That's the best way I can describe it. Um, and I'm sorry, but that's, uh, some look, of my clients I, I, I will... can attest to the, to the long conversations that I have had about the amount of, um, the amount of reform that I would love to see in America. Okay, I'm just going to say this. I know this is horrendous of me to say, but... Um, I personally want the American political system to say exactly the same as it is because otherwise, as a country, Britain is going to lose its only source of self-esteem. Because <laughs> whenever we feel bad, we can look at you guys and think, thank fuck we're not them. <laughs> I know, it's great. It's great. It's like, it really is just fantastic sometimes when you watch people from other countries be like, ah, at least we don't have this. And then it's like, Something infinitely worse. Yeah, we do occasionally. Like, I'm sorry. Stay. It's like it's like occasionally you have like uh, I'm trying to think of something that's not really offensive. You know, it out. you know, you get some, like dead. you get French people. Like occasionally you get people who like live in France talk about like oh you know at least our right wing isn't so bad. Mm. My brother in Christ, you literally let Jean Marie Le Pen get to the second round of, yeah. the, uh, of your presidential election. Yeah. They didn't let him win. Well, okay, to be fair, uh, as Americans, we barely have legs to speak on, considering the Freedom Caucus. Yeah, the Freedom Caucus is, um... That's all a, I'm a gonna say on that of decisions, topic. A series of decisions that were made by the American elect. That wasn't... The, yeah, those were... De- it wasn't even a decision made by the American elective at some point. It was just a series of decisions that the people who got elected made. Look, all I'm saying is that... Good lord. <laughs> just just good lord. I yeah. mean yeah, what I what I would say is that America is a wonderful place to be filthy rich, white and old and straight. If you have all of those things then you can have a great fucking Wait, time. Hold, I can add a few more categories to this because I did in act I had a long conversation with a professor about this. If you are not Angle if you are not some form of Protestant Evangelical more than anything, the Protestant, rich, white, cis, hetero, male, and come from generational wealth, you're fucked, is the best way to put it. Fortunately, as someone who everyone else tells me is posh, um, I'm not posh. I'm very much not posh. Um... I am middle class, at best. In the UK, that's not posh. Okay, first of all... Whoever posted the dispatch, um, first of all, a correction has been made to pronoun. Um, it is not his, it is they. Uh, but also, second of all, that is a funny meme. I will, I will, I will not lie. Well, I'll give you that one. <laughs> I'll give you, I'll give you, um, 
I'll give you the fact that it's a funny meme. Uh, however, uh, your your the, the pronoun is wrong, uh, and this is the second time I will call it out. Ignore the fact that I um I went. To- oh no! See, you, when I corrected you, you fixed it. It was fine. Talking to the people who haven't corrected. Ignore. Yeah, exactly. Just ignore the fact I went to boarding school. <laughs> people. Um, oh, shadow hates memes. I feel like. I feel like a show where we had people, we had somebody from the, I feel like a show where we had somebody from TNP join Shadow in raiding memes would be a funny show. <laughs> it would be. I feel like that would be tremendous content. <laughs> and Philly, if you're still listening, I feel like we need to tap into this opportunity. Hold on, I'm going to write this into my calendar somewhere. Um, <laughs> have, have you all seen the meme Quebec you sent around a couple of um, weeks ago? Which one? I was like, yeah, which one? The uh, this the one from September. The sk- sk- that someone from the URA made it. Quebec sent around is this one. <laughs> oh, that one, yes. That was so good. I do remember that one. <laughs> and on that fun note, I think we will end it out there because I'm bored. <laughs>